Today we'll be making Georgian chintali. For this recipe, you'll need flour, an egg, oil, minced meat, an onion, garlic, cilantro, and chili flakes. And if you're new here, I'm Maggie, this is No Frills Kitchen, where I teach you how to cook with confidence with nothing fancy required. First step is to make the dough. You can do this by hand or using a stand mixer, and here I'll show you how to do both. We'll start with how to make it by hand. In a large bowl, whisk together some flour and salt. Then make a well in the center of the flour. Crack in an egg and pour in a bit of neutral oil. Mix this together with a wooden spoon until the egg and oil are evenly distributed. Then pour in a bit of very hot water. I recommend being very sparing with the water initially as it's easy to add more. If you do end up overhydrating, you can always adjust this by adding a bit more flour, so don't stress. Mix with your wooden spoon until the dough is just hydrated and no dry spots of flour remain. It will look very shaggy, so don't be alarmed. Then turn the dough out onto a clean work surface and knead the dough. Don't skip out on this step as it's essential to developing the gluten structure necessary when it comes to forming the chincali. You'll need to knead the dough for about 10 to 15 minutes or until it's supple, pliable, and elastic. Then cover the dough and set it aside to rest at room temperature for at least an hour before rolling out. This is also necessary to allow the gluten to relax and to make it easier to roll out. Now, if you're making the dough with a stand mixer, the process is easier and quicker, but essentially the same. Add your flour to the bowl of the mixer. Add your salt and whisk together. Make a well in the flour and add your egg and oil. Fit the mixer with a dough hook attachment and mix just until the egg is incorporated in the flour and a very shaggy dough forms. Once the egg is mixed in, turn the mixer to medium low and very slowly stream in some hot water. Slowly add the water until the dough pulls away from the sides, gathers around the hook, and there are no dry spots of flour remaining. Make sure you are also periodically scraping down the sides of the bowl to ensure that everything gets incorporated. Keep the mixer on medium low and knead the dough for about five to 10 minutes longer or until it's supple, pliable, and elastic. Make sure to let it rest in the same way as the handmade dough. While your dough is resting, you can go ahead and make your filling. In a large mixing bowl, add your minced meat. To the meat, add in a finely diced onion and some chopped cilantro. Then grate in a clove of garlic and add some crushed chili flakes. Season generously with salt and pepper. Mix this together until it's well combined and set it aside until ready to form. By the way, if you're finding this recipe helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps more people find my videos and I would really appreciate it. Now onto forming your chincali. First off, you need to roll out your dough. Divide your dough into quarters and work with one quarter at a time, keeping the remaining dough covered with plastic or a damp tea towel. Very lightly flour a clean work surface. Make sure not to use too much flour as this will make it difficult to seal the dumplings when the time comes. Roll out a quarter of your dough using a rolling pin until it's about one millimeter thick. Then punch out as many rounds as you can get from the dough using a 10 centimeter circular cutter or a drinking glass if that's all you have. Gather the scraps and cover them. They can be re-rolled and punched out again, but make sure to rest the dough for at least 10 minutes before doing this. Working one round at a time, very gently stretch the round until it is paper thin and you can even see some light passing through it. Place the round on your work surface and add a bit of filling into the center of the dough. Using both hands, pick one side up of the dough, holding it about a centimeter apart in your thumb and forefinger. Take the dough in your left hand and fold it over and add it to your right hand, pinching to seal and creating one fold in your concali. Continue this motion until you've folded and pinched the entire round of dough. Twist the top of the chincali to seal it completely. If you want a really clean look, you can use some scissors to snip the very tip of the twisted top from the formed dumpling. Repeat this process on the remaining chincali until you have no dough or filling remaining. It may take a few dumplings until you really get the hang of it, so don't get too stressed out. By the way, if there are any more Georgian recipes that you'd like to see me make, let me know in the comments. Once you've formed all of your dumplings, bring a large pot of water to a rolling boil. Gently lower the chincali into the water and boil for around seven minutes. Remove the chincali with a slotted spoon directly onto your serving plate. Traditionally, chincali are topped with an ample amount of black pepper. If you liked this recipe, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my next videos. Enjoy!